Welcome to Coding with Kids. My name is Kalia, and today we're in Minecraft's Hour of Code Escape Estate. So in the last video of Escape Estate, um, we went into this mansion, found the agent, and helped it. Now it opened the green door for us, which is like very mysterious. Now we're gonna enter. Ah! Loading. Oh, that's so creepy, that's so creepy, that's so creepy. Oh. Agent. Wait, before you go, I need to tell you one last thing. This house is filled with escape rooms. You need to find clues, solve puzzles, and fix code to make your way out. Press C to reveal, reveal a puzzle's code. Run to code's the code to see what happens. If there are errors, fix the code and run it again to test it. That is called debugging. Sometimes solutions won't be clear, and that not all puzzles take code to solve. When you find a puzzle, remember to run the code first to see what's wrong, then debug and fix the faulty code. It's much easier than writing code from scratch. Keep an eye out for clues such as particles to help guide you. Close. So the agent gave us some um, hints and help us. So we. So in the first video, we found this diary page now we found another one let's see entry to the study dear diary i finally found a way out of the attic only to become trapped in this strange library i do believe the large mirror here is more than than it seems it is truly is it truly a mirror or a window to another to another dimension regardless i have no op option other than to press forward and see where it takes me close Search room for particles. Oh, there's a particle. Right click particles. So there's like a button right here. Okay, let's right click. Oopsies. Close. Right click. Wait, oh, the painting went down. And this big brown ball is here. Okay, let's see. Go, code to code. Let's see what we have to do clay ball maybe. So I guess that ball was a clay ball. Move the clay ball to the gold block. Use the clay ball move function to navigate the ball through the maze. The clay ball move function takes one parameter then defines what direction it should move in. Valid directions are up, down, left and right. So this is a code example. Clay ball move up three times. Let's see what it does. Okay. Oh, the clay ball moves up three times. Well, that works. Okay, but it seems like it didn't complete our code because it nothing happened except the um, clay ball moved back all the way down. Okay, let's go back to code. Use a for loop to do one or more actions multiple times. So it's like a loop. Well, it is a loop and it's gonna help us like make our code shorter. So this is the same command as the first one we tried except like only in two, like in a shorter version. Okay, navigate the clay ball through the maze to reach the gold block. That the included code bo below is broken. Can you fix it? Run the code to see what happens. Then debug it by adding it to the correct solution. Okay, up three times. Oh, it went to the red block instead of the gold block. Okay, so we can't move it to the red block, but the gold block. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna turn the clay ball move up into four I in range three times. So we make a loop and we're gonna do clay ball move up three times so we can get out the first line and the clay ball move um right two times because when we first run it it went to the left instead of the right we need to move to the right to go to the gold block okay right and right again right and then we need to move down three times to reach the gold block let's run it okay up three times yes we got it oh does it oh it's search room for particles Oh, that's, that's the mirror? Wait. Wait, in the mirror, there's like the switches. Oh, maybe we should switch the switches. That one. Uh, that one. 
this one and this one. Whoa, what? Oh, I guess there's no more particles. Oh, it's the same. Okay, now move on to here. Pumpkins. Things in the mirror appear differently than in the room you're in. Find all the differences and modify the room to make them match. Use move cursor to position the cursor and place block to place the block in the position you have selected. So now, so we know the mirror, we have to match everything in this room as the mirror is. So when we switch the lights, the, like the first light has to be on and this light has to be off and this light on. And now in the mirror, all of the pumpkins are there, but over here only three of the pumpkins are there. Okay, let's go code. Okay, let's see, place block. Okay, wait, this is a code example, it won't work. Okay, that doesn't work. So this is the code with the loop. It's the same code as this, but just with the loop. Okay, let's see. It will do the same exact thing. Okay, because it doesn't work. Okay, then now we're gonna go to here, which is where we code. So this this works, but I think it's too long. I'm just gonna copy the place block, this one, and then all of these, just delete it. So we, because we don't need it, okay? Keep on deleting me until we have nothing left. Okay, oopsies, code here. Okay, and then for I in range to make um to make a loop, we're gonna do it five times. Let's see what happens if we do it five times. Okay, and then we're gonna do move cursor, blue and no. Place block and then move cursor. So, oopsies, yeah. Move cursor and then place block first. There, place block. Let's see what happens. Come on. Okay. Wait. Oh, for iron range. It's not a string. Oopsies. It's supposed to be just an integer, not a string. That will work. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we did it. Search room for particles. Ooh, what's this? Whoa. Oh, it broke. It broke. It broke. Search room for particles again. Oh, what's this? Okay, that works. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, let's see. You need to flip all four levers to open the door, but you're not quick enough to do it manually. See if you can figure out the order they need to be flipped. Then program your new friend, the Speedy Knight, to do it for us. Use the Move Knight function to define which color the Speedy Knight should move to. Okay, so this is our friend Speedy Knight. I guess it's a statue with things to make it like a knight. Okay, so as its name said, it's Speedy since it said that we can't do it manually because we're too slow, but speed and night should be fast enough to do that. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Move night blue, move night orange. Move night blue, move night orange. That doesn't work. Then what are these here for? Maybe we should follow like this one first, like move night blue and then move night uh, magneta and then so on, like yellow to orange. Let's see if that works. Figure out what order the levers should be flipped by paying close attention to the carpets in front of them. Then move the speeding knight to each lever in the correct order. The speeding knight is clever enough to flip the lever when it's in position. Okay, so I am right. These are carpets and we need to flip it. So maybe one, the blue is one and then two and then yellow is three and then four. Okay, let's go. Okay, so move night blue and deck. Uh, this is wrong, so we need to fix this. This is magneta, and then it's yellow, and then orange. So we're coding speedy night to do this for us, to help us. Okay, run. Uh, run. 
Oh, it's fast. Whoa. It's like teleporting. Room cleared. Cool. Thank you, Speedy Knight. And suit of armor. So Speedy Knight and suit of armor. But suit of armor is just standing there. But look, there's a next place. This place is finished with the craft mirror and the moving painting with the clay balls, the pumpkins and the night, the lights and speedy night and suit of armor. Next video, we're gonna go in and see where it will take us next. But for now, let's just stay here. So, well, that was fun and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye bye.